Essentially, there are three ways to secure your boat to your trailer. Firstly, the winch at the front will stop the boat sliding back off the trailer. This must also be used with the safety chain in place. Secondly, the over center or gunwale tie down. This is usually one single tie down that goes over the center of the boat. This example is 4.5 meters long with a PVC coated S hook on each end and a heavy duty ratchet for tensioning. Take the long end of the tie down. If there are no tie down points on the side of your trailer, feed the hook around the inside of the trailer chassis and bring the hook back round and feed the webbing through it. Bring the webbing over the middle of the boat, attach the other hook to a tie down point on the other side of the trailer, or again, feed it around the trailer chassis and back onto the webbing. Open up the ratchet and feed the end of the webbing through the slot in the spindle. Pull all the loose webbing through and then slowly tension up the webbing with the ratchet. Ensure that the webbing goes round the spindle at least twice to enable a secure hold. Excess webbing should then be tied off to prevent it flapping around. Ratchets can produce a significant amount of tension, so avoid over tightening the tie down as this could damage the side of your boat. It's also advisable to use an airfast protection pad to reduce the risk of marking the side of your boat. These pads can also be used to stop the ratchet from touching your boat. Finally, a rear transom tie down. This is always a pair of tie downs, one for each rear corner. The tie downs are normally quite short, one meter up to two and a half meters in length. A tie down attaches to the towing hooks on the rear of the boat and secures this to the trailer, or if tie down hooks are not attached to your boat, a large transom hook can be used, typically either side of the outboard motor. Either of these types of transom hooks can come with a ratchet or a cam lock as a tensioning device. The ratchet tie down is the most popular as this enables more tension to be applied to the tie down. In this example, we're using a transom hook and a ratchet as a tensioning device. The PVC coated steel hook should fit over the transom of the boat, either side of the outboard. The other end is attached to the tie down point on the trailer. For ease of use, these tie downs are produced as a single piece. Pull the excess webbing through the ratchet and then slowly ratchet up the tension using the ratchet handle. Ensure that the webbing goes around the spindle at least twice to enable a secure hold. Excess webbing should then be tied off to prevent it flapping or dragging on the road. Repeat on the other side. To remove the tie down, pull the release tab firmly up and then extend the ratchet lever up and over to approximately 180 degrees. The ratchet should click and the tension will be released immediately. Leaving the ratchet fully open, pull through the excess webbing. It is advisable to check the tension on your tie downs after driving for a few kilometers as your boat could move and settle in the trailer, which could cause the tie down to slacken slightly. When towing your boat on the open road, you must always use the winch with the safety chain attached to the front of the boat, plus at least one other tie down option, either the over center or tie downs on the rear transom.